question was always, should we call it Africa Twin? Because it was a toast animal now. I mean, Africa Twin is one of the biggest um, icons we have as a, as a company, you know. Mm. And I know there was a lot of discussion about, is this bike going to be good enough to call it Africa Twin? Mm. And my response was, if it isn't good enough, we shouldn't launch it. Like you were saying to me yesterday, mm. you were with um, Aki and mm. you know, it's like midnight on yeah. a <laughs> Sunday night, yes. and you didn't agree yeah. on the, yeah. some problem with yes. the bike, you know, the stability. And so, you know, you just drive for two hours back to Osaka, Osaka. Uh, repair the bike until two o'clock yeah. in the morning, and then drive back down again. Yeah. I don't know whether you call that dedication or stupidity, I'm not sure, but anyway, I think it's dedication and passion. <laughs> That's Honda passion, really. But after yesterday, I mean, mm. you know, when, when we rode it and when we did the conclusion today, you know, I just said this bike is worthy, mm. yeah. really, of the crown yeah, of Africa Twin. Yeah. Because your baby was the original yeah. Africa Twin, Yeah. is this... Which one would you? <laughs> which one would you buy now? If there was two wow. brand new, if there was original and this one, which one would you buy? Well, uh, I was a child. My father was the same. His parents asked the same question for him. Which uh, mommy and daddy? Ah. Which do you like? Mm. Good answer. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. I answered to both. Mm. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> very good answer. Very, very good answer. <laughs> yes, one point. <laughs> My father was a, a customer, a Honda customer, an mm -hmm. Africa Twin customer, Transalp, yeah. uh, Africa Twin also, and he, also, he has always said that it was his favorite bike, so I'm happy oh. to... Oh, you're just saying that, aren't yes. you? Yes. No, no, not only because he's here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't. Thank you. Yes, please. <laughs> I will give you my shirt <laughs> and you will check. <laughs> I agree. I'll take a picture of Tosan yeah. and uh, send it to your father. Look, Dad. Look, Dad. He's the man. If you had one favorite part of the new bike, what would it be? And you can't choose your mum and dad either this time, okay? Just, just off road. Feeling. Yeah, the feeling is, is for me is really special um, because it just feels so light when you yeah. ride it. It just doesn't feel like when you look at it, you don't. It doesn't even look like a thousand cc, and when you ride it, it feels lighter than like a Transalp or something. Mm. It's, it's just. So what about the other guys? So, it's an off-road with automatic transmission. Mm. It's a feeling. It's Mm -hmm. He liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 It's a hero gate. What about you, Kurosan? It's an acceleration. Mm. It's a traction. Always it's a somehow kicking mm. the ground feeling. Yeah. All right. And you say? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think for me. <laughs> like my man dad uh, <laughs> answer on this one. Ma mommy and the dad. And <laughs> and 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 sister. <laughs> It's difficult because it's just the bike that you get on it, and as I say, it just makes you smile and whatever. But if I was narrowing it down, um, it would be the actual feet, you know, the noise, the exhaust noise, and the induction. And when you when you're riding faster, and mm -hmm. you know, when you're on like almost mm -hmm. full throttle, mm -hmm. it's just got so much character mm -hmm. that changes with every situation. different situation mm -hmm. that you're in. This of Katrin, that you can ride as you like. Mm. If you want fast, it's okay. Exactly. Yeah. If you find some uh, rough road, you can go. It's highway, you can go. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. In town, also, you can enjoy it. And the other thing with, uh, we were conscious about was uh, DCT in this bike, you know, because the fact it was going to be ridden off-road, and I know I was very um, nervous about mm. how it was going to work, but again, after the test, that DCT is incredible. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I do not love DCT. Maybe because I'm getting old and I do prefer to shift by myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
for first time, I felt that DCT now is better than me. Mm -hmm. So the new settings of the DCT, they are fantastic. And not only for on-road usage, yeah. but also off-road. So I've been riding off-road machines and I could never, never imagine mm -hmm. an off-road bike with a DCT. Mm -hmm. But now I realize that it's, mm -hmm. it's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like when you said to me, we we gave some yeah, feedback on yeah. DCT and we said okay, and um, you, you know you adjusted it, mm -hmm. and then you said to me, oh, uh, Dave, son, just go and test again now, yeah. do a few corners, <laughs> yeah. and I said okay, no problem. <laughs> and I, anyway, I did a few corners, and I thought, well, oh, I quite like this. How, so, how, how many corners you go? Well, I did the whole. <laughs> I did the whole corner, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and then uh, about 20 minutes later, everybody's saying, oh, I don't know where Dave's gone, oh, is he ever coming back? And, yeah. and, but from the, the 28 years I've been developing all the mm -hmm. products, mm -hmm. that yesterday was probably one of the best experiences mm -hmm. from a riding mm -hmm. enjoyment mm -hmm. perspective mm -hmm. I've, I've had in, uh, yeah. in all the years I've been yeah. doing it. I think something to be considered is that when we launched the first Africa Twin, at that mm. time we had no competitors. Mm, yeah. And the bike was, uh, okay, we start a legend mm -hmm. right uh, yeah. at that moment. Mm. Uh, now, many years later, there are many competitors, mm. but even so, I do feel that our bike mm. is still ready to start a new uh, yeah. legend. Yeah, absolutely. The bike is so great.